For rock, hard rock, and heavy metal, I generally like to take a less is more approach. I don't like to over-process and over-tune the vocals in a way that destroys any natural inflection and natural ornaments in the vocals. If you over-tune rock vocals, you'll end up with a performance that sounds flat, lifeless, and just doesn't have the attitude and intensity that a rock performance is supposed to have. So now that I'm back in edit mode, I can go through and tune up some of these notes. Take back what you've said. Now, one of the things I've gotten really good at over the years with using Melodyne is tuning vocals without even listening to the music. If you find that that's troublesome for you, or maybe you don't have quite a developed ear for pitch, it might help you to listen to the music the whole time. So I'm just going to kind of go through here, and some of these notes that are just not snapped to the grid, I'm going to snap them better to the grid. Take back what you've said. You know, this note kind of goes up there, but let's pull it down a half step. Take back what you've said. Let's jump this up to E flat. Take back what you've said. That sounds more like the implied melody. This note's supposed to sort of land on C, but there's these other little inflections in it. I'm going to use the pitch drift tool to sort of straighten that out a bit. Take back what you've said. I also feel like this upper note here is maybe tuned up a bit too much, so I'm going to hold Option and pull it down just a little bit. Take back what you've said. This note here needs to come down just a touch as well. Take back what you've said. So sometimes I'm not snapping notes 100% to the grid. Sometimes I'm letting them drift away from their intended pitch just a bit for a more natural sound. Take a look in the mirror. That all sounds good. Maybe tune up this one here. Look in the mirror. There's nothing left. So I think the implied melody here is, there's nothing left. So it's C, and I think this is supposed to be E flat, D, C, D. So let's try that. There's nothing left. Uh, I'm going to use my pitch drift tool again to kind of straighten these out. There's nothing left. They still sound a little weird. So let me just pull this one down a bit. There's nothing left. This sounds just a little too sudden, um, the transition between these notes. So for this, I'm going to grab the pitch tool, just the top pitch tool. And what you can do is you can hover over the back end of these notes, and you can adjust the pitch transition time between the notes. So let me just make this a little more gradual and a little more natural. There's nothing left. Yeah, that sounds much more natural. It doesn't have that little hiccup in the note anymore. Nothing left to hide. Tune that up. Nothing left to hide. That's all good. Any more take. Let me pull this down to G, snap that to G, snap all these to C, E flat, and D. Any more take. Got a little pop in there. So let's go back a couple steps. Let's tune these up, tune these up. I'm going to leave this alone, and I'm going to tune that up, but leave this first note alone. Any more take. So this note here seems like it's flat, even though I've tuned it right on, um, right on G there. So I'm going to right click and restore it by going to a restore original and choosing undo all changes. Any more take. It's almost like a spoken word. I'm just going to pull it down just a little bit. Any more take. Nothing more or less. I'm going to pull this down to E flat here. Nothing more or less. I'll tune these up right on C. Nothing more or less. So there's this little ornament here, and I could try cutting this up into little pieces and tuning each part of the ornament, but I think that's actually going to make it sound worse, so I'm just going to leave it alone. But I will tune the note that it lands on here on C. Nothing more or less than what you have given. This should be B flat here if it's going to be in the key of C minor. Then what you have. Or it should be up on C, but not on B natural. Then what you have given. I'll use my pitch drift tool to sort of straighten it out a bit, and then use my pitch modulation tool to flatten it out. Then what you have given. 
And then let me use my pitch tool to adjust the transition. Then what you have given! I'll try B flat again instead of C. Then what you have given! Yeah, I think B flat is actually the correct note. I wasn't really sure if this is supposed to be B flat or C because what he's saying was right on B. Then what you have given! I think I'll roll back the pitch modulation a bit as well. Then what you have given! Okay, so off screen I went through and I tuned up the rest of the vocal using the same methodology. Take back what you said. Take a look in the mirror. There's nothing left, nothing left to hide anymore. Take nothing more or less than what you have given. My mind is soaring high, staring at the stars. So one thing to keep in mind here is that every song is going to be a little different and every singer is going to be a little different. There's no one right or wrong way to tune vocals, even within genres, but hopefully this video has helped you to understand some things that you might run into when tuning rock, hard rock, and heavy metal vocals.